Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a whole house cleaning at our home. Just getting things back to normal after Christmas time and also after having a really busy week doing some room makeovers at my in-laws house. So the week before Christmas, we were super busy with those makeovers and then we had two days of Christmas, one day of just our little family's Christmas and then the next day we spent the whole day with my husband's family for Christmas. Christmas day and so things had just been really busy and I needed to get caught back up on all of the housework just get the house reset get things back to normal get caught up on all the laundry and hopefully get the entire house clean today because we had another busy week ahead working on a second makeover and also my sister was coming to visit later that week so the plan was to just take the entire morning and hopefully get the whole house cleaned up in one morning I started first thing in the morning right before 8 a.m. and I was hoping to have the whole house clean by lunchtime. Usually it takes me an entire day to do a whole house cleaning like this so in order to get done by lunchtime I was going full speed ahead going as quick as I could through the house rushing around. I'm starting off here in the kitchen getting all the dishes loaded into the dishwasher and wiping off the countertops. I'll be cleaning all the appliances and just getting this kitchen reset. I hope you each had a wonderful holiday with your family. We had such a wonderful Christmas time and New Year's with our family. And now it's 2024, which is just crazy to think about. This is my first whole house cleaning video in 2024. And stay tuned because I want to do some decluttering and organizing to start off the new year. This is always a great time to go through your house and do a large declutter and organize. Just start off the year fresh and with less clutter. So I am going to be working on that this month. Stay tuned for that. And we've also got a lot of makeovers coming up. So there will be a good variety of content over the next few months. Probably one week we'll be here at our house working on cleaning and organizing or decluttering. And then the next week we'll be doing a makeover. We're starting an entire house makeover this week. So we are definitely going to be very, very busy over the next few months, but we are excited for everything that's coming up in 2024. If you have any big plans for 2024 or small plans, goals, whatever it might be, I'd love to hear those. If you want to share them down below in the comments, I always love to read through all of your wonderful comments. You can also share any cleaning tips that you have, any tips that you have for starting off the new year, whether that's some decluttering or organizing tips. Those are always helpful for myself and also everyone else watching the video. I will have all of my favorite cleaning products linked down below and this stainless steel cleaner is one of my favorite products. A little bit goes a long way and I use this on all of the stainless steel appliances in my kitchen. It is just a really awesome cleaner. I will spray that onto the surface and then wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. So this is kind of the last thing that I'm working on in the kitchen is to just go around to all of the appliances, get them clean. I'm also cleaning up my coffee bar area, cleaning out the Breville and the knock box and then I also need to clean the trash can and empty out the trash bag. This coffee bar area has been one of our favorite additions to our home. We use this every day, not only just for coffee, but also for mixing up drinks. We keep sparkling water in the fridge and we'll mix up some drinks with that. We've got the ice machine there and it's just been a really fun area to have in the kitchen. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do in the rest of that corner. We've got two blank walls that I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing over there yet. You can leave your suggestions down below. Right now it's just kind of a storage area. We've got some boxes stacked there for an upcoming makeover, but eventually I would like to hopefully add something to that area someday, maybe a large calendar on one wall or a large blackboard, just something to put on those two empty walls.
The new year is also a great time to establish a new cleaning routine and that is something that I'm going to try and stick to this year is to just get on a better cleaning routine like a daily cleaning routine where we do a pickup throughout the house every day. We have been trying to do that this past year but I really want to try and stick to it this year because it makes our life go so much easier when we can keep the house picked up, keep up with the laundry and all of the basic things around the house especially when we're going to be so busy. It is just very helpful to have a basic cleaning routine in place and it can just be a very simple routine. Something that we always try to do is to do a quick pickup throughout the house before the kids go to bed. The kids can pitch in and help with that, putting away dishes, sweeping the floor, picking up toys. Just setting a 10 or 20 minute timer can be really helpful and it's so nice to wake up to a tidy house in the morning, especially a clean kitchen. It just helps our mornings to go so much better and also helps you to feel inspired inspired for the day. As I'm tidying up the dining room, I was showing you two new games that we've been loving lately, Tapple and The Chameleon. The Chameleon is such a fun group game. I'll have the links for both of these games down below and I'll also just put the link to a list of all of our favorite games down below there in the description box. Right now, Levi loves to play with little cars, trucks, tractors, anything small like that. So he got a whole new set of trucks and cars and a tractor set for Christmas. So I was just getting that sorted into the bins to take over to the playroom. And I was also just cleaning up all of the rest of the items that were left from Christmas. We do always just go and get a trash bag right after we open up presents and we'll stuff all of the wrapping paper and everything in there. But there were still just a couple things left here that I wanted to tidy up and I wanted to wipe off the coffee table, wipe off the couches and the chairs. And I also wanted to take down the stockings. I did just leave up the tree and the garland because we wanted to enjoy that for just a little bit longer. Sometimes I want to take down the Christmas decor like the day after Christmas and then sometimes like this year I just wanted to leave it up for a couple more weeks but I'll probably take down all of the Christmas decor and just get the furniture arranged back to normal, get everything set back up the way that it was probably about the middle of January because we're going to be having a party here later in January. So I want to get everything reset and put back to normal before that. Let me know down below in the comments, is your Christmas decor still up? Did you take everything down? Did you just take half of it down? Some years I like to just leave up half of the Christmas decor, maybe some of the decor that's more of like winter themed and just leave that up for the entire winter time. My first load of laundry is done and I'm getting that switched over to the dryer and then there is a couple of things that I don't like to dry so I will take those outside and hang them up on the line. It has been pretty chilly lately but the sun was shining all day today so these clothes did get dry eventually. I wanted to add quickly to what I was saying earlier about establishing a cleaning routine at the beginning of the year. It can be really helpful to do an entire house declutter and organize before you start that cleaning routine because having less clutter in your house will help you to be able to maintain it better and keep it tidied up. If there is a lot of excess clutter in your house, then it is going to be really hard to keep it tidied up every day. So I'm hoping that I can post my whole house declutter video here in about two weeks and hopefully that will give you some inspiration and ideas for decluttering your house and starting off the year with less clutter and a cleaning routine. The 
boys love Legos. It is one of their favorite things to do. So they had gotten quite a few Lego sets for Christmas. So they had been in Lego building mode the last couple of days since Christmas. So now it was time to get their room cleaned up. They had gotten some trash bags and they were picking up all the trash from the Lego boxes and bags and everything. And I was just helping them get their room tidied up. They are really good at keeping their room tidied up every day. But the last couple of days we had kind of been on like Christmas break and so we weren't doing much cleaning and we also were really busy the week before but usually I always have them tidy up their room every day and make their beds and that really helps to maintain the mess in here and all of the toys that can get scattered all of the floor and the Legos and everything and sometimes like today I like to come in here and help them clean get their room reset vacuum the floor I'll make their beds for them or wash their sheets whatever needs done that day Okay, so I was making good time. We're getting a lot of cleaning done and I'm almost done cleaning this side of the house. I just have to clean the little bathroom here in the laundry room and then tidy up my office and then we can start cleaning the other side of the house. So it was just me and the kids at home this morning because Jalen was down doing some drywall work for that room makeover that we were working on. And when I'm doing a whole house cleaning, I always get asked what my kids are doing while I'm cleaning. How do I clean when I've got a toddler running around the house and cleaning with a toddler can be hard but the two older kids they're just doing their own thing they're playing either in their room or outside and Levi is just usually playing as well he's running around following me around while I'm cleaning or he's just playing I am having to stop while I'm cleaning and go and take care of him or get him a snack a drink put him down for a nap at lunchtime but thankfully Levi was very happy just playing all morning and so I was able to get a lot of cleaning done and I was basically running from one side of the house to the other. If I had to go to the other side of the house to get something, I would run because I was trying to get this done by lunchtime. We had some other things that we needed to get done that afternoon. And it's crazy how much cleaning you can get done in a couple hours when you're able to just clean nonstop and go quickly. You can get a lot done. That's why I always say about just even setting a 20 minute timer. If you're cleaning nonstop for 20 minutes, you'd be surprised just how much you can get done. And it's also really helpful to get one room completely clean and finished before moving on to the next room. That's something that I always like to do when I'm doing a whole house cleaning is to just work one room at a time. As you've seen in this video, I started off in the kitchen and then we did the living room and then the laundry room and just worked our way through the house and getting each room completely finished before moving on to the next room can really give you that motivation to keep on cleaning because you know that one room in the house is completely clean. You can see that clean and finished room. And even if you just say, I'm just going to get one room completely clean, usually that will lead to you cleaning another room and another room and then possibly the whole house because you'll see that one room completely clean and it will give you that motivation to keep on going. Okay, so I'm now working at cleaning our bathroom and I'm not doing any deep cleaning. This is just a quick tidy up and I'm also just quickly wiping down the countertops. I'm wiping off the mirror, the toilet, and then I will vacuum the floor. 
Once that's done, this bathroom will be clean. I'll get my oil diffuser going in our bedroom and then we can move on to cleaning the next room. And these shoes that I've been wearing today in this cleaning video, they are from Marshalls. I got them a couple of months ago. They were only $20 and I thought these are just the perfect sneakers to have on hand for only wearing in the house. I wanted to have a pair of sneakers that I only wore in the house just for when I'm cleaning all day like this. It's nice to have some support and is a lot more comfortable when I'm on these hard floors all day. I was showing you my laundry basket. I've really loved this laundry basket because it is a collapsible laundry basket. So when I'm not doing laundry, I'll just collapse this and slide it right under my bed. It's really easy to store, especially if you don't have a lot of storage, a place to keep laundry baskets. I would definitely recommend getting a collapsible laundry basket. So now that Levi's room is clean, I'm going to move across the hallway and clean the hall bathroom. My sister was coming to visit later that week, and so I wanted to be sure and clean this bathroom because she'll be staying in our spare room, which is right beside this bathroom. So this will be her bathroom for the week. I'm going to just do a quick clean in here, wipe off the counters, clean the sink and the floor and clean the toilet. And also just be sure that the shower is clean and I want to put out some fresh towels and washcloths. And I also like to set out a couple of little bottles of shampoo and body wash, toothpaste, those types of things on the countertop. So this is our spare room, just some workout equipment and some things stored in here. We were going to clean this up a bit that evening and then set up the guest mattress and everything in here for her. I wanted to set her up a little side table with some snacks and a water on there. But right now I'm going to head back out to the kitchen and heat up some soup on the stove for lunch. We had some leftover soup in the fridge. So I didn't have to worry about lunch today. I just had to heat that up on the stove and then I mopped the floor and then I was completely done with all of the cleaning and the entire house was clean, which was such a good feeling. I was so happy that I was able to get done with all of the cleaning by lunchtime. I finished up with my mopping at 1 p.m. And so then I was able to have time to work on some other things that afternoon. So I hope that you enjoyed this cleaning video and hopefully it just gave you some clean cleaning motivation today and inspiration and maybe it inspired you to clean your home maybe your entire home or maybe just one room like I said if you say you're going to at least clean one entire room that will maybe give you the motivation to continue on cleaning another room and then maybe even your entire house so I hope this video just gave you some inspiration today and thank you so much for watching I will see you next week on Tuesday with a new video Stay tuned for that video because I'm going to be announcing a new series on my channel that I'll be posting over the next couple of months. So don't miss next week's video and I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you for watching. Bye.